As anyone with siblings knows, it's not always easy to get along. And in the modern musical landscape, no one has embodied this more publicly than Noel and Liam Gallagher of Oasis. Though he was the band's primary songwriter, Noel Gallagher is most widely recognized as the lead singer on Oasis's hit single, Don't Look Back in Anger. Liam, on the other hand, was the group's voice on pretty much everything else. With Noel's creative vision and Liam's distinct sound, Oasis sold millions of records and topped the singles chart eight times in the band's native England. But while the Gallagher's unique chemistry yielded more than a few hits, they had very different ideas about what it meant to be musicians. Noel believed music was a serious profession, while Liam felt that living in a reverent rock and roll lifestyle was about as important as writing good songs. This divide was never more apparent than during an infamous early interview with the British magazine Q, when the brothers argued about a recent alcohol-fueled incident on a boat that had landed them both in handcuffs. Well, if you're proud about getting thrown off ferries, then why don't you go and support West Ham? Get the f out of my band and go be a football hooligan, right? Because we're musicians, right? We're you're football not hooligans. because you was in bed. No, I'm not at all. This conversation became so notorious that a bootleg recording of it, titled Wibbling Rivalry, reached number 52 on the British singles chart. Unsurprisingly, the highest position ever achieved by an interview. By September 1994, Oasis was beginning to make waves across the pond, embarking on its first ever US tour. In the middle of a gig at LA's Whiskey A Go Go, Liam decided it would be hilarious to change up Noel's lyrics to the song Live Forever. His big brother was not amused. In fact, the incident contributed to Noel briefly quitting the band, only to rejoin a couple weeks later. During recording sessions for the multi-platinum album What's the Story, Morning Glory, the shenanigans continued. Following an argument in the studio earlier in the day, Liam reportedly tried to kick open his brother's bedroom door, badly injuring his own foot in the process. Noel then retaliated by attacking Liam with a cricket bat. In 1996, the band was scheduled for a high-profile appearance on the MTV show Unplugged. Claiming a sore throat, Liam sat out on the performance, leaving Noel to fill in on lead vocals. To everyone's surprise, Liam still showed up to the gig, smoking, drinking, and heckling his brother from the comfort of a balcony seat. Four years later, things once again got physical, when Liam questioned the fidelity of Noel's first wife, Meg, and by extension, the paternity of the couple's infant daughter. Noel hit back, first, literally, by punching his brother in the face, and then by dropping off the remainder of the band's European tour. It took Liam more than five years to apologize for his comments. But even after the apology, things remained contentious, with Noel taking regular shots at Liam in the press. In 2009, following a canceled show in Paris, Noel announced his decision to leave Oasis for good, saying, It's with some sadness and great relief to tell you that I quit Oasis tonight. People will write and say what they like, but I simply could not go on working with Liam a day longer. At a 2011 press conference, Noel elaborated on his decision to quit the band, saying that prior to the ill-fated Paris gig, his brother had tried to attack him with a guitar, Ironic, given all of Liam's past threats of physical violence. Yeah, well, I hate him, and I hope one day there's a release where I can't smash out of him with a little bucket right on his nose, and then he does it same to me. Eight years after Oasis officially parted ways, the sibling rivalry continues. From lawsuits, to petty insults, and reunions that never quite materialize it seems there's still no love lost between brothers Noel and Liam. 
And as long as Oasis is broken up, there can be no real winner in the Battle of the Gallaghers. We're calling this one a draw. Still, the question remains, will these two ever make peace? I said maybe.